Danny, we didn't get the chance to speak to you after the Hammock game yesterday. What was your thoughts on that one, first of all? I think we've had two good games. Um, I think four halves. We've probably been pleased with three of the four halves. I thought, I thought we did well yesterday. Really professional performance, both first half and second half. We were disappointed with the first half today. I thought we lacked the, the energy and the intensity that we would like to play with. But we were really pleased with the group second half. You know, I think the average age, if you took Andre Wisdom out, out of the, the group, I think the average age would have been about 19 and a half. So, um, you know, and I thought they did great. And, you know, today, listen, we've created probably 20 good chances and just haven't been able to, to take those. Um, but there was there was there was some good positives to take over the over over the two days. We knew that this would be really demanding for the players, uh, both physically and mentally. We wanted it to be that way. It's pre-season. It's supposed to test them. Um, they've probably done just short of 60 kilometres in their legs, and we had a double session yesterday, session in the morning, and then played at Haven. I thought today the first half group in particular looked looked tired, which. You know, we, we understand. Um, I think, think ultimately, um, like I said, you're learning about the players all the time and we like to learn about the players, particularly in a difficult moment because um, we know during a league season you're going to have these moments. So it's always how do the players respond and yeah, there was some learning to take from the first half for sure. But, but as I said, no, over the two days and certainly the first two weeks of pre-season, there's been, there's been some real positives. Yeah, just to touch on how pleased you are with the, play, the players' application over the past two weeks. Like you said, loads of double sessions and then two two games back to back on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the attitude and application has been really, really good. Like I said, we've been really pleased with three of the four halves. Um, not so pleased with the first half today, um, but but yeah, the, the the players players' attitude has been really good. It's, a, it's obvious for everyone to see. You know, you would have seen today we got to to, to some really good areas on a, on, a, on a regular basis, both first half and second half. I mean, we probably created 20, 20 chances today. We, we, we know where we need to recruit. Um, the club are working really, really hard to try to um, to to make the, the, the players that we've identified a reality. And we, um, you know, we have full confidence that in time this will happen. Now, obviously, we want this to happen as quick as we possibly can because, um, like I've said on, on numerous occasions, the quicker we can get the group in and the quicker we can start working together, the better chance we have of, of, of having a successful season. What are things looking like on the transfer front? Can we expect anything soon? Well, we hope so. We obviously head out to Spain early tomorrow morning. I think we have a five o'clock leave from, from the training ground, um, which, is, which is good. Um, but you know, as well as preparing the team and training the team, we'll be working hard to keep to, to, to in, in, in the recruitment area. Like I said, we we have total clarity. I think probably since the since the end of January, we've known that we need to recruit heavily in the in the in the forward department, and we're just ultimately just um, yeah, we've, we've identified the players, and we're just now trying to get some of those deals over the line. You touched on it there, a trip to Spain next up. How much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, really good. It's been a real tough two weeks. I think, you know, 15 sessions, I think, already for the group. Um, it'd be great to spend some time together uh, next week. Change of, change of scenery. We love Portsmouth, but maybe maybe Spain will be a little bit warmer. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy each other's company. The, the sessions will be hard. There'll be you know, double sessions and triple sessions every day and then we have a, a game at the at, at the end of the week. What are the main things you're looking to take from the trip to Spain? Well I think for us, you know, we will keep trying to work on the players physically, we will keep trying to work on the players technically and tactically. Um, we have some challenges at the moment because we don't have the forward players in that we would like. So there's certain areas of the game that we can't do as much work in. Um, this is just the reality. Um, and we'll obviously keep trying to work on bringing the group together and the, and the togetherness and the, sp and, and, and the spirit because these are, these are really important qualities if you want to be a successful team.